Dealing with a bad back so far that he kind of tweaked in game six of the first round. And he has not been the same player the first two games of this series. Morant guarded by Wiggins. Barry Payton did a lot of the defending on him. Morant gets in the paint, stops. Beautiful defense from Wiggins. Zaire Williams fires away and hits the three. Speaking of youngsters, he's only 20. Ball away. Now Golden State, they left Memphis angry as shot won't go. Kaminga on the follow. They left Memphis. Morant coming off that 47-point masterpiece, including a bunch of three-pointers, knocks that one down, and it's 6-2. to Here in the NBA, as Jackson comes the other way, Bain runs to a spot, fires away, and knocks down the three. That's a welcome sight. Good job defensively. Good job by Jackson pushing the basket with the beat. He came in the first two games, 5 of 17 from the field. Draymond Green in the drive. Nice feed. Coming on the flush. The athleticism a little frustrated with our shot selection. That was the number one thing he talked about, Jeff, after game two. He felt the shot selection was not good. Jaron Jackson Jr. now is the three-pointer. So they're four. And an early eight-point lead. Curry the drive. Draymond Green gets into the paint. Back to Wiggins and lays it up and in. Draymond Green has done a very good job. Tillman back to Moran. Picked up by Thompson. Bain stumbles, falls down. Shot clock down to four. Jackson Jr. Another three. Way downtown. He had to put it up with a shot clock. And we played four and a half minutes. And you watch how they guard Clay Thompson. They're on the top side, forcing him to back cut. He did. I like the Warriors defense so far. Morant from way outside, that's good. John Morant with a long distance. And it's a 10 point lead, three point bombs right now for Memphis. Thompson the drive, stripped and stolen by Bain. Bain steps back. John Morant answering the three point call, the fake, the drive, layup, won't go but a foul. As Kaminga bumped him. And that's what those three-pointers set up. And Steve Kerr wants him to keep him from going left. But if they're going to give him this cushion, he's going to walk in and have a good chance of knocking it home. Suspension for that hard foul on Gary Payton, the second in game two, that resulted in Payton breaking his left arm. The Grizzlies haven't allowed Brooks to talk about the foul or his suspension, but Taylor Jenkins told us Brooks, though disappointed, has been in good spirits, knows he's not a dirty player, and is just looking forward to being back with his team for game four. Gary Payton will not be rejoining his team anytime soon. He will be reevaluated in two weeks. But when I talked to him tonight, he still had that big smile on his face and said he's gotten so much love and support after suffering the injury, support from around the league. He said he's still smiling because this isn't the worst thing that's happened to him in his career. He said, I'll take these three to five weeks of being out over the six years it took me to get here. Mike? All right, Lisa. Guys, what did you think of the foul, and what did you think of the penalty? When we first took a look at it, I believe there was a flagrant, too, so I have no problem with the aggressiveness in which the foul was committed. And I think that Gary Payton, the second, got hurt, made it even worse. Therefore, the, two game, the, the one game suspension came into play, and the flagrant, too, coach. Beautiful pass. Melton to Zaire Williams, and it's 21 to 8. And, and they did a great job of converting terrific defense into instant offense. But uh, my take on it as Wiggins hits the three is this, Mike. We have got to legislate against those wild horizontal swings that come with such force. Whether they land or not, to me, it was certainly a flagrant two. But this happens over and over in our league where guys get good block shots off the same wild swings. Carmelo Anthony's great at it. I think that has to be just like an elbow that does not connect. It should be a technical foul. We have to eliminate this from our game. I disagree. I understand what you're saying, but because a guy like Carmelo Anthony swings and comes up with the ball, that's not a flagrant foul, and that should be not should not be eliminated. That's an outstanding defensive play with great anticipation. Warriors in the zone now, 1-2-2. Two, two. 
Anthony Melton misses. Curry the rebound. A rare miss early for Memphis. Kaminga down the lane and throws it out of bounds. A little out of control. He thought he got bumped. I will say this though, Mike. I believe that if Dylan Brooks was called for a flagrant two and suspended a game, I would make the case in game one, Draymond Green's foul meets the same criteria. You think it was as harsh as, as that play right here? I believe the, the, the slap over, over the face and the pull down combined, you can make the case. If I'm a Grizzly fan or a Warrior fan, I would feel the same exact way. And here is the Draymond Green from game one. Ironically, the team that lost the player to the ejection, Draymond Green in game one ejected. Warriors won that game. Second game, Dylan Brooks ejected. The Grizzlies won the game. And the Grizzlies off to a terrific start here in the first quarter. A 10-point advantage. Zaire Williams can't connect. Jordan Poole coming off the bench. And I think the zone has done exactly what the Warriors have wanted it to. Change the rhythm of the offense for Memphis. Wiggins, nice soft touch as Draymond Green sets him up beautifully. Second excellent cut by Wiggins, rewarded by Green. Already three assists for Green. Brandon Clark back out to Moran. Kyle Anderson in as well with Melton Williams. Moran again daring him to shoot. He's already hit a couple from downtown. Shot clock at three. Kyle Anderson gets into the paint. Stripped down low in a 24-second violation. Good defense there from Otto Porter. And what's getting Grizzlies problems is passing.